All right, today I want to talk a little bit about uh, fittings because I know for people that are building their very first um, water-cooled rig, that can be a really overwhelming part of your system to plan because there's a lot of different fitting options out there and you don't really have any experience with them, so you don't know you don't really know anything about them as far as what the difference is in them or what they do or the benefits, costs, things like that. So I was just going to talk a little bit about the different kind of fittings that are available for those people that maybe have never had any experience with fittings in the past. So mainly, when you're talking about fittings, there's two main types of fittings. Um, there's barbed fittings and there are compression fittings. So here I have an example of just a simple barbed fitting. Um, these fittings are cheap. A lot of times you can put together a system and spend little to no money on fittings. Uh, for example, these this is a fitting that came with my radiator. So a lot of times your parts will actually come with um, barbed fittings when you order them. Or you can add them on for just a few extra dollars. Um, so we have G1 quarter thread on one end. That's the end that screws into your block or your pump or your reservoir or whatever your, whatever connection you're trying to make. And then this is the end uh, with the barb on it. And how these work, it's simple. It's probably pretty intuitive for most of you. Um, you just slide the end of the tubing over the barb. I'm not going to put it all the way on because I don't want to have to screw it into a block to get it out. But uh, that's basically it. And then once you have it all the way on, you just take a hose clamp and you clamp it around to clamp it tight to prevent from pulling off or spilling. Um, these fittings are effective. I mean, if you put them together right, make sure your fitting's tight in your block and make sure your hose clamp, your hose is all the way on and make sure your hose clamp is tight, you're probably not going to have any problems as far as pulling off or leaking. <clears throat> uh, but some people don't really like the appearance of these. They don't want a bunch of hose clamps in their system. They think that it might look kind of tacky or something like that. So the other type of fitting that's available is a compression type fitting. Okay, so here I have a compression type fitting. This is actually a compression quick disconnect mail end, and I'll talk about the quick disconnects here in a second. But for now, we're going to focus on just the compression end here that connects to the to the hose. Uh, you can get G1 quarter compression fittings, which I'll show you. I have an example of right there. So see, that's a G1 quarter compression fitting screwed into my block, and the other end is connected to the hose. So how does this connect to the hose? Well, here it's a, it, it's really a two-piece fitting, and I like to think of it like a fancy version of a barb fitting because it really is a barb fitting with just this nut to secure the tubing around the barb. So what you've got is here. You have, see there, that's just a simple barb. Um, here I've got my drain tube is the tubing I'm using here, or my fill tube. It can be used for either one. Oops, I did that wrong. Got to put the nut on first. Don't make that mistake. So you sl slide your nut over the end of your tubing here, like so, and then you press the tubing on the barb, and then you take your nut and you screw it down, and so it compresses the tubing onto the barb. Um, now these look better, is why a lot of people use them. Some people might be concerned not trust a hose clamp as well. Uh, I think this nut might be a little more secure, but by and large, the main reason people would use a compression as opposed to a barb is for looks. Now, I will advise you to be careful because when you start talking compression fittings, it's extremely easy to spend two to two hundred and fifty dollars on fittings for your whole system. I think I've spent a little over two hundred on mine. Um, so it is a price jump. I mean, that's just be aware right away. That can that can get away in a hurry if you're if you don't have it built into your budget. So be careful there. Um, the third type of fitting I want to talk about is actually the quick disconnect. Um, I'm gonna shut my computer down here real quick so I can actually disconnect it and show you how they work. But here is a male end of a quick disconnect, and for example, a female end is right here. Um, I've got that in the top of my res. I use it as my fill port. Um, I should note that it takes one barbed fitting to make a connection and one compression fitting to make a connection 
but it takes two quick disconnects to make a connection. Now, how quick, quick disconnects work is really simple. Like, I have the Coolance VL3N quick disconnects, so they're really handy in your system because they allow you to take your loop apart without having to worry about spills, and they can help you drain it without worrying about draining it inside your system um, but it really just depends on how you've got your system designed so like I've used these quick disconnect fittings here because if you can see how I've got my loop routed here it comes out of the top of the radiator up here into the bottom of the or into the small radiator out the small radiator into my res out my res into my pump and then from my pump into my CPU block so what's that mean well for me I can just push in and twist and pull off see and you'll see that little drop of water right there that's all the water that gets freed that's it so you're, it's not going to spill any water so now I've got this section disconnected if I were to go ahead and take this apart right here all I have to do is take out four screws that are holding my front radiator in this res just pops out of the holders and I can just take the, the small radiator res and my pump out together and work on it outside the system so I don't have to worry about filling it in. That's the useful part about quick disconnects. Um, for quick disconnects you'll need one end with a G1 quarter thread like I have here going into my CPU block so you can actually screw it into your block and then one, the other it doesn't I don't know that it really matters whether you use male or female for either one um, this is just how I happen to do it so my females are the compression that connect to the hose my males are the ones that go into the block. Um, as far as fitting accessories go, there's also, you see I've got some angles here. Um, you can get fittings that, are, that have angles built into them. So basically this would be the whole fitting. Mine, I have bought angles separately, so I have angled adapters. Um, the reason I did that is because I ordered all the fittings. I knew how many connections I was going to need, but I had no idea as to what angles everything was going to fit at. So... I bought the fittings, got my components put in the system, and then I used the actual dry fit method to see what, to estimate what angle fittings I needed to order, and then I ordered angled adapters. And also what that allows me to do is kind of mix and match. Um, throughout the course of all the shuffling, I ended up with an extra. Here I've got a 60 degree angled adapter from Bits Power. Um, so you can, you can buy fittings with angles in them, or you can buy straight fittings and buy angled adapters. It's a little more expensive to buy the fitting plus the adapter, but it does give you a little more flexibility. And is probably what you're going to need to do if you've never put a system be together before and don't know what you're going to need in terms of angles. Okay, so within fittings, there's also fixed fittings and rotary fittings. I have personally bought the rotary fittings, and what that means, if we can see here, it allows this to rotate independently of the section that's actually screwed into the block. I don't know if you can see that there. Um, so what that does is it allows your tubes to rotate and, and adjust to where they sit comfortably without having tubing pressure trying to unscrew your fittings. Um, at the same time you can get fixed or rotary adapters. So here this is a rotary um, 60 degree adapter so this would actually swivel the part that's serrated here to grab actually swivels independently of the flat finished part. Um, an example of that is this 90 degree fitting I have up here. See I can swivel this side to side and that's swiveling independently of the part that's screwed into the top of the res. That's not screwing or unscrewing the actual adapter into the res. So in overview you have barbed fittings and you have compression fittings um, when you get into compression fittings, you can get fixed fittings or rotary fittings. Um, rotary is going to be more expensive than fixed, but again, it, it, it's not going to put pressure on your tubing that's going to want to unscrew your fittings out of your block. Um, you can also buy fittings that have angles built in, or go ahead and buy angled adapters separately. Um, that's just up to you. And then this other kind of fitting would be the quick disconnect, which allows for easy service on your loop. And if you design it right, you can actually take part of your loop out or 
Another reason I did it like this is because I can take part of it out and then at the same time I can undo this right here, plug these two in together and then my fill tube here will act as a drain actually for that top radiator and it'll let water run out of that top radiator. So I can pretty much essentially drain my whole system, um, pull part of it out and drain the rest of it without too much trouble. So that's a pretty quick overview of fittings what's available and how they work. Um, I should note before I go, my fittings here, I've bought an all Bits Power matte black rotary fittings and uh, Bits Power matte black rotary adapters. So that's wh what these black fittings are. As I said, these, these silver fittings here are Coolant's VL3N. Um, but really the choice is up to you. It probably depends mostly on your budget and how particular you are, particular you are about looks. So that's where we'll leave it for today.